Great. Is it okay now? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We have a ten, yeah, we have fifteen minutes. Uh, basically, subtracting three minutes for the time delay. Go on, please. Thank you. In the name of God, I just uh, today I'll just speak with you about the effect of the cell-like topography on drug susceptibility of the breast cancer cells to dark surface. Fatah, I'm sorry for the interruption because I, I think you are in the presenter mode. Uh, okay. Now it's better. Now it's okay. now it's thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me introduce myself uh, very short and briefly. I'm a PhD of material science and I have worked on surface engineering and modification of biomaterials. Okay. Uh, good. As you know, when the biomaterials implant in the body, you know, uh, it is near the cells, so the surface properties of the biomaterials can affect the cell response. And what I mean is that the response of the host organism in microscopic cellular and protein level to biomaterials is closely associated with the surface properties of the materials. Okay, effective, uh, to, uh, and in this slide, you can see the effective surface parameters and the biological response of biomaterials. You know that these parameters are uh, wettability, surface charging, and topography, and surface chemistry. But among these, topography has been reported uh, to play an um, uh, important role in biological response. And you know, until now, the effect of the surface topography on cellular response has been investigated for so many times and for lots of years. And uh, currently, the influence of the micro-nano topography features on the cells has attracted more and more attention. You know, we can use the micro, mm, micro patterns or nano patterns, but the best one is micro-nano topographical features. And actually, uh, this is because the, these kinds of the patterns can completely uh, resemble and mimic the nature extracellular matrix and uh, actually ECM, which is around the, around the cells, and cells can interact and uh, reside with them. And to, uh, these platforms, have shown great promise, promise on creating a reliable micro uh, environment. And you can see in this slide that uh, there are so many patterns that until now can check on the cell's behaviors. But um, to tell the truth, hierarchical micro nano patterns uh, have a great influence and actually uh, they can have an impact on cell functions and even uh, gene expression or cell differentiations or even the invasion of the tumor cells into the surrounding tissues. Okay, basically a quantity of uh, platforms have been introduced until now and uh, check the interaction and the interaction of these patterns with the cells are completely checked. But recently, but uh, the problem is that most of them are not uh, realistic and they are unnatural. But recently, unfortunately, unfortunately, recently, cell imprinting techniques has been proposed as a straightforward and easy and even cost-effective methods for fabrication of these kinds of micro nano patterns, which is called pseudo 3D patterns on substrate or even some uh, cell imprinted patterns. In this method, uh, as you can see in the left uh, top part of the slide, in these patterns, in this method, fixed cells are used as templates and to mimic and recapitulate the cell membrane. And uh, actually, these specific biogeometrical features are employed to changing some kinds of the behavior of the cells. You know, you can see that the Previously, it was, it was demonstrated that culturing of cells on the cell imprinted uh, patterns can change the morphology, adhesion, and even cell differentiation of cells. 
And uh, in another study, it was also shown that the some cells can even could be uh, redifferentiated or transdifferentiated when culturing on the cell and cell imprinting um, substrates. Um, in addition to the changing of uh, some kinds of the cell's behavior, just like uh, adhesion and morphology and gene expression. Uh, as a proof of concept, also there, there is there was an, there is another study which uh, just showed that the morphology and the morphology of the cells uh, and the physical arch architectures of the cancer cells actually could also enhance the clinical activity of some kinds of drugs. And we just use this idea and try try to expanding this idea to check the effect of the topography on the viability and the even uh, drug susceptibility of the breast cancer cells. You know that the breast cancer is one of the uh, leading and dominant cause of the death in all of the world, not only in Iran. And you know, um, chemo uh, some kinds of the chemotropic drugs, just like doxorubicin, uh, have been has been um, extensively used, but the the problem is that the doxorubicin have has some kind of effects, and we just try to optimize the dosage to decrease these kinds of side uh, to in order to decrease these kinds of side effects, uh, while maintaining the efficacy. And we just uh, thinking to use the gel hydrogel as a promising matrix for in vitro mimicking breast cancer environment. And also PDMS, which is a well-developed substrate and uh, currently used as a cellular studies. Okay, at first step, we just uh, try we uh, use we use the cell imprinting to uh, fabricate some uh, pseudo three D um, substrates. You know the uh, the platform was manufactured by uh, the cell imprinting methods. And uh, I mean that the cell imprinting surface um, fabricated on the PDMS and Gelma. And you know, this was, this was the first time that the Gelma was, uh, at, and uh, actually all, uh, actually the hydrogel can uh, cell imprint it for the first time. And uh, you know, we use the Gelma, it is uh, worth mentioning to say that they use the Gelma because we can, uh, change uh, the stiffness of the gelma to adjust uh, with the in vivo tumor, breast tumor. And after, and then we just characterize uh, both of these substrates with the uh, SEM and also AFM to make sure that the, we can see the patterns of the surface. Okay. Uh, at next step, uh, we, uh, we check the viability and some cellular behavior of the um, two kinds of breast, uh, breast cancer cells on this uh, cell imprinted uh, substrate. And uh, the results was uh, okay because the results showed that the breast cancer cells exhibited higher viability and higher attachment and even uh, better growth on the both PDMS and the uh, actually Gelma cell imprinted platform compared with the plain surfaces. You can see the uh, PDMS data here and here are the results of the Gelma substrates with and without MCF7 patterns and you can see also the viability which is in the right top of the slide. Mm. After the proof of concept, concept to uh, elaborate the phenomena, we just used another um, uh, cancer cell, something like SKBR3, and uh, check if the if uh, when we change the sub when we change the imprinting of the substrates, if the cells uh, behavior will change or not, and. Uh, we found that the MCF7 cells had dissimilar growth properties on, MC, on MCF7 cell imprinted sur surface compared to uh, SCAR-RB3 uh, cell imprinted surfaces. And this was just because of the higher roughness and also larger surface area, which are which were, were provided by the uh, MCF7 cell imprinted substrates. And then after assessing the viability, and we just checked if the cells 
uh, can immigrate and uh, actually located in the pattern or not. Uh, and uh, the results showed that they were, um, for longer, for example, longer time of culturing, for example, five days after culturing, some cells uh, professionally um, added and spread on the embedded cell-like patterns. So we ensure that the cells uh, are completely located and they migrate to imprinted uh, features. And so, Fatima, we are at the 10 minute mark. So mm -hmm. maybe, maybe we have two minutes. Okay, okay. Okay. It's, okay. And then uh, at, uh, at last, we just uh, check that the effect of the uh, drug uh, for the different uh, cell imprinted um, substrate. And uh, the, the results showed that the imprinted cell like topography altered the toxicity effect of the drug. And uh, interestingly, the gelma hydrogel that we uh, used, uh, that we were used, uh, present a better and higher, uh, higher um, toxicity. And that was uh, great because most of the cells uh, were, were completely uh, dying. And uh, we just check for another and uh, get the good results. And now we are going to uh, do another project. Uh, we just uh, thinking to, um, and combine the cell imprinting methods with another methods which is currently used, is, which is microfluidic. And we try to determine the drug efficacy in more and more reliable environment. And uh, in order to our, target our dreams, we, should, we just thinking to uh, follow some steps. At uh, first step, we should uh, try to develop the engineering cell imprinted micro channels, micro channels, and then we design and fabricate the microchip with the hypoxic condition. And uh, also, we want to define electrode for cell, cell monitoring, and uh, uh, then we check the IC50 in more reliable, um, more reliable environment. And uh, at last, we try to culture cells on the microchip and uh, try to check the uh, cell. Uh, we um, try to check the drug efficacy uh, in more and more reliable environment. Thank you so much, Iskan. Well, thank you very much uh, for the interesting talk. Uh, again, it's great we have uh, such a diverse range of talks today. So we have Yasser waiting for us and another, and we have one question from Marion, but we have to wait for the break, you know? So let's leave the question for the very, very squeezing uh, speakers for the second round. I'm sorry about that, but let's see how we proceed with the whole um, session. Yasser, you're, I hear you're online. Uh, can you present? Share your screen. 